We took every class in WoW and made a giant list of all the comps we've seen so far in the 3v3 meta. We then collected data from the latter and interviewed rank 1 and professional players to sort everyone's best comp into a massive tier list. This wasn't easy, but we know you've all been dying for an update. And by dying, it's probably to assassination rogues. <clears throat> but anyway, today we have our 3v3 update, ranking everyone's best comps in the Season 1 meta. So if you want to know the best setups for your spec and how they compare to everyone else, get ready for an epic 3v3 comp tier list. First though, we need to talk about something important. Many people think that tier lists look something like this, where you have a few comps that are good, but then a whole bunch of things that are just bad or trash. We think there is a bit more of a gradient in PvP, so we made something to help. Here we have a curve, and everything below this line represents every comp in the game. And moving along the right represents a higher chance to win a random matchup against equally skilled players. S tier comps are here, since they represent the absolute best setups possible, with the highest expectancy to win. Here is the A tier, which still has a really high chance at winning against teams of the same skill. Now listen up, because this is the part where people tend to get a bit confused. The B tier is what we are defining as average, and represents a wide range of comps, with some being nearly high tier, with others just being okay. In any case, what's important to know is that being on the B tier is not bad, but just means having slightly less consistency than the high tiers. The C tier is where things start to get a bit janky, and are the true start of the low tiers. Any comp here will be at a disadvantage most of the time, and will generally include some of the lower tier DPS. We're not going to cover anything lower than the C tier for now, and for the following tier list we are only going to cover everyone's best comps. Kicking things off, we have the S tier, which includes the absolute strongest comps in the current meta. Surprise, surprise, here you will find not one, but two different assassination rogue lineups. The first being Asa Arcane, with an assortment of viable healers. Look, by now you know the drill, an expansion gets released, and at some point it's only a matter of time before RMX becomes top dog. But seriously, with a rework to assassination rogue talents, AoE Shiv and its massive healing reduction has given a new edge to rogue mage variations. When you combine that with the full throttle energy of an arcane mage, you have a deadly combination of damage and control. The same is true when you simply swap out the arcane mage for a shadow priest. Look, we know shadow got some hefty nerfs early season, but the power of RPX hasn't really seemed to suffer, and was even featured as a grand finals mirror match in the second AWC cup in North America. But of course, assassination is borderline broken, but that's not the only reason this comp excels. With multiple forms of healing reduction combined with instant cast CC, RPX is able to apply huge pressure on enemy healers, who already have a tough time in the season 1 meta. Speaking of healers, this comp pretty much works with any of them, with each providing a subtle edge to the setup. And we want to know what you think. What healer do you think is best for both RMX and RPX? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're doing that, here is a quick recap of the absolute best comps in the current Season 1 meta. Asa Rogue seems to be doing best with Arcane Mages and Shadow Priests, but we have a few more options right around the corner in the A tier. And if you notice a comp was missing from any part of the video, don't worry because we will be putting a complete 3v3 tier list on our articles site. There you will also find class guides, including up to date talent trees where you can easily import rank 1 builds to your own characters. Using our articles site will also give you an exclusive discount code to skillcap.com, which features hundreds of videos designed alongside the most elite players in WoW PvP, including multi rank 1 gladiators and even BlizzCon champions. These players even submit weekly arena commentaries, breaking down some of your toughest 3 3v3 matchups in easy to follow guides. Everything at skillcap.com is backed by a rating game guarantee, where we promise you will rank up 400 points this season while actively using our website. Anyway, back to the video. With our S tier covered, let's move down a tier to cover the rest of the meta dominant 3v3 setups. First up we have a few demon hunter comps. Despite some nerfs in the early season, DH continues to be a top tier melee in the Dragonflight meta, where it continues to excel with a wide array of other high tier DPS due in part to its highly dynamic toolkit combined with its incredible sustained damage output. One classic variation of demon hunter comps is with the balance druid, which is arguably the best 3v3 comp for all of you laser chickens out there. Even though Boomy DH hasn't really excelled like it did throughout Shadowlands, it is still a massive execution test for enemy healers, since its combined damage output can be massive when paired with a Disc Priest or Restoration Shaman. Next up we have a selection of Death Knight Cleaves that don't include a Demon Hunter since we already mentioned it before. In any case, DKs have managed to stay relevant in the meta even after multiple nerfs where they continue to excel with other pressure intensive DPS. Evoker seems to consistently be the best healer overall for most DK cleaves, but there you are free to customize virtually any comp with Resto Druids for more defensive oriented playstyle or Disc Priests for full send damage fests. 
And even though we already mentioned the absolute best assassination rogue comps, we have some honorable mentions. Look, with the strength of Asa right now, the spec can virtually play with any DPS. That is a typical side effect of class balance. If one DPS is broken, there's a high chance it's broken no matter what the comp. Anyway, if you want to be an assassination rogue feeling some semblance of being an underdog, look to play any of the comps listed here. Oh, and if you're out there playing sub and want to know what DPS lets you secret techniques the hardest, well, it's Mage. What a surprise. Both RMP and RMD seem to be working well in the current meta, especially with Arcane Mage, but even with Fire, despite its serious lack of representation. In any case, if you're wanting to play sub rogue, you really can't go wrong with the classics. Speaking of classics, we have a selection of Warlock Cleaves that are bound to offer some nostalgia. Well, kind of, since all these are demo or destro versions, but don't worry, we will get to Affliction later. Anyway, demo still appears to be the best overall Warlock spec, though maybe by a smaller margin these days. Familiar comps like LSD, Shadow Play, and a few Mage Lock variations are all well positioned to handle the Season 1 meta, generally with Druids as the preferred healer. And last up on our A tier, we have some survival hunter comps, with both scatter play and thug cleave being solid options at the moment. You've probably seen the recent tournament success of Big Mechs, our resident hunter expert, as his team was able to beat out some of the most elite teams Europe has to offer, all while playing with a holy priest of all things. In any case, if you want your best shot at ranking up this season, we highly suggest either one of these options for ladder play. And if you're wondering where the hell jungle cleave is at, it's here on the lower end of the A tier. Of course, it is still pretty good, but it's not nearly as competitive as something like RMD in the S tier. Jungle is still being played by some of the best players in the world to rank 1 ratings. It is clearly not as dominant or pervasive as it was in Shadowlands, but it remains an appealing choice for anyone wanting to experience a familiar playstyle, especially when played with an Evoker or Disc Priest. And with that out of the way, we have our rankings of all the highest tier 3v3 comps sorted by their class anchor, though not in any particular order. Unsurprisingly, the best melee DPS seem to have the widest variety of comp options, likely due to how brutal healing reduction is at the moment, making it almost a necessity for any comp. This also helps explain why Demo has a wide variety of top tier setups, since it is one of the only casters with a mortal strike effect. Now though, it's time to venture down to the mid tiers with our first B tier comps. But we want to remind you of one super important thing. Being on the B tier is not bad, it simply means being average. Everything we're about to mention is still competitive, but might have a few more difficult matchups compared to anything we've covered so far. So if you're sad to see your favorite comp on the B tier, don't worry, most things we're about to mention are currently being played by rank 1 players. The perfect example is Ret Warrior. Even though it isn't nearly as good as it was in Shadowlands, it's still good enough to be competitive, and it's still being played by top tier players up to the highest ratings. The nerfs to Ret Paladin bursts definitely hurt the comp's viability, but the synergy between Ret Paladin and Warrior toolkits is still there, which continues to make this comp a fantastic fantastic option for a true melee cleave experience. Speaking of melee cleaves, Frost DKs have a few of those, but lately you've probably seen the success of Mez playing Frost DK Devastation Evoker. Even though the recent ladder success of this comp might have had something to do with the fact that it is being played by actual BlizzCon champions, it's fair enough to assume this comp is still pretty competitive for the average player. In general though, DK comps are almost identical between Unholy and Frost, but better on average with Unholy since it is simply the better spec. Next up, we have some fairly traditional caster cleaves, including God Comp and Affliction variations of the Warlock comps we mentioned earlier. Affliction Warlocks have had a weird experience in Dragonflight so far, and it's safe to say that they've underperformed in a meta that seems built around AoE pressure. In any case, familiar comps like LSD, Shadow Play, and RLX still seem strong. And for you Shadow Priests and Frost Mages out there wanting a classic Wizard Cleave experience, God Comp continues to be an appealing option. And finally, we have a selection of Mistweaver Monk comps to cover on the B tier. Unfortunately, Mistweaver seems to be one of the worst healers in the meta, for a few reasons we will cover in our healer tier list. In any case, it seems to work best with high tier wizards that are tanky enough to let the monks stand still and spam heal in the back line. But for all of you out there wanting to fist weave, you might have to get a bit creative. Currently, the highest rated Mistweaver in the world is playing with an Arms Warrior and a Brewmaster Monk of all things. We don't necessarily recommend this comp for inexperienced players, but it seems to be one of the best options for the melee healer experience. And with that, we have our recap of the B tier for the 3v3 meta. Even though we didn't include a full breakdown of these comps, Outlaw has a few options in the B tier, which are all just variations of the best assassination rogue comps. We've also included another Devastation Evoker comp. Generally speaking, Evokers need some form of AoE stun in order to cleave and lots of defensive support since they are so squishy, which makes Demon Hunters an excellent partner. Again, any comp you see listed here is what we consider average. Any one of these is quite viable, even up to the highest ratings, but might encounter a few more problems compared to comps mentioned earlier in this video. 
Now though, it's time to move down to the C tier, where we will include the rest of our DPS specs. First up is Enhancement Shaman. Look, being a C tier spec means you are bound to have some low tier comps, but the best way to compensate is by playing with another DPS who can carry you. And without an MS effect, Enhancement Shamans generally do best with other classes that can provide it, with Arms Warriors and Assassination Rogues making excellent partners. The rest of our C tier includes comps with some of the other low tier DPS, including Marksmanship Hunters with Jungle or Thug Cleave likely being the best options overall. In general, Marks needs to play with something that provides a reliable stun in order to stand still and blast damage. Again, if you think any comp is missing from this video, be sure to check out our article's site after this, where we will have a more complete 3v3 tier list. There, you will also find discount links to sign up for skillcap.com, which includes our famous class courses that teach you rank 1 fundamentals, because we only work with the most elite players WoW has to offer. These same rank 1 gladiators upload weekly arena commentaries, breaking down difficult matchups in easy to follow steps. All this comes backed with a rating game guarantee, which means you have nothing to lose. So don't wait, visit skillcap.com today. But anyway, that wraps it up for this video. Let us know your thoughts on the 3v3 meta below and tell us what topics you'd like us to cover next. As always though, we want to thank you all for watching. See you soon.